All right, y'all, this, this is the next step um, that was in the process. So after that, I was on my way back, and I was at the bus station. And I wanted to find out what the bus driver's name was, or if I see him pull up again, I would know exactly what bus number it was. And um, that's why I don't like catching the bus. Cause I don't like to deal with all that retardedness. If I can walk, I don't care if it's 20 miles. <laughs> if I can walk, I will. Um, so I was approaching the window, and then there's this man that is, like, annoying me so bad, you know. Um, it's a Hispanic man. I couldn't tell if he was in line or not. And um, he had, like, a broken arm and a cut under his eye. <laughs> and he was happy. Or he wasn't happy, but I know how he felt because I'm like that, too. I'm really hurting him in a lot of pain, but I'm trying to find things to make me happy. And see, I just hit another aha moment right there. That's what it's all about, you know. And there's a fly that's flying around. It's really getting on my nerves. And it's so funny to me how, again, it's like always when I'm trying to overcome this situation, it's like the fly is just going. And the situation being, um, you know, out of this the stoic doldrum, you know, and actually talk about stuff that's going on. Um, and there's no reason for a fly to be in here. There's no food. There's nothing. Um, there's no reason. It just popped up out of the blue. You know. But anyhow, now I have allergies. I think I'm allergic to something. The flies, dirt. I don't know. But I'm going to hold that thought. I'm going to try to hold it too until I finish rubbing my nose from the allergies. <laughs> okay, so, um, I need to keep tissue close by, too. So, um, the guy was really <laughs> annoying me. And I think all of these stories that I go through in my life is kind of like a series of, of the series Touched by an Angel. Because everything is, um, <laughs> everything has a purpose. And sometimes I don't see it initially or understand it initially because I'm frustrated by it. But in hindsight, I see it. Like the interaction with the man on the bus. The fact that my interviews um, didn't make it. Um, and I really needed them. The fact that I spent my last four dollars to try to get to them. I mean, all of it connects and it, it makes a difference. And it's a higher meaning to it. It's something to be learned. Um, so anyways, I was in line. I was just going to ask what the hell the bus driver's name was, speak to the supervisor or something, and what ended up happening was there was this man that was in front of me, I didn't know if he was in line or not, because he was just so all up in my face and grinning, and there was so much space between him and the person in front of him, and, you know, he just started talking to me out of the blue, and he was like, um, he was like, you see all them girls right there, you know? And like I said, those type of, the, he's a white Hispanic man, they usually love, like, the brown, brown women. And so I'm looking, and there's, like, a bunch of teenage girls, you know what I'm saying? Just hood rat teenage girls, you know what they look like, just just a bunch of teenage hood rat girls. And not bad girls, they were good girls. Like I said, they were good girls or okay girls. They weren't, like, just hood, hood girls. And so... You know, he's like, you all those girls right there. And at first, I'm looking around because I'm trying to find people his age that he's talking about. Or somebody that I think was a I just see a bunch of kids. And he was like, I missed my bus twice because they kept messing with me. And I'm thinking to myself, them girls ain't thinking about him. They're doing girl things. They're in their candy bags, eating candy, talking about boys or whatever they're doing. They're not thinking about him. He's thinking about them. And so I'm looking at them and I'm looking at him. And so I guess he sees the confusion on my face, like, what is he talking about? Then he's like, um, and the whole time I'm watching the line, so I'm like, I just want to get to this man and get gone. And um, so then he's like, um, yeah, he missed the bus twice and I was because of them. And I was like, what do you mean because of them? And he was like, they kept messing with me. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so then he says, after he sees the look of confusion on my face, after a while he lets me sit in. And then he's like, um... But I date women my age, like 50 years old, 40, 50 years old. He was like, how old are you? <laughs> and I was just like, I'm like, you know, I don't give out my personal business like that, you know. And then he went on about the girls. And then he was just like, I only date women five my age. How old are you? And I was like, you know, I don't tell my age. And he was just like, oh, you're, you're in your 30s, right? 
you know, and I was just like, look, you know, are you in line? <laughs> and he was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm in line. And I'm like, okay, fine. So he continues to keep, you know, saying, oh, you're beautiful, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not listening to him. And he says after, and see, this is how it all connects. The guy wasn't listening to me, but I'm not listening to this guy. So he says to me, he said something and he asked me something. I forgot what he asked me. I, I because I wasn't paying attention. You could see I wasn't paying attention. So I just told him, I said, look, I don't know because I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening. <laughs> you know, and I told him I'm not listening. And that's how I felt like, you know, if if you're not, be honest. You know, just, just tell him I'm not listening. I'm not going to listen. That's it. And, I, you know, my mind was not there. I was like, I'm not listening, you know. And he was like, oh, okay. And, but he still kept going. And I was so happy when he got up to the window. I said, when he gets to the window, I hope he takes care of his business at the window and not keep talking to me because I'm trying to get up out of here. You know, I'm trying to get up out of here. This is not where I want to be. And also, he had some flip-flops in his hands. So I think he got just got out of jail or something. So he had the jailhouse flip-flops. And so, you know, even though I knew he was going through all that, it's like I was so focused on me. So I get to the window, and the guy... Can't even talk to the man at the window because the guy is just like all over my shoulder. He's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you." I was just like, "No, it's not a problem. Don't worry about it." And I'm thinking he's gonna go, but no. As soon as I start talking to the man, he's talking all over me. You know, like you know, such you just because you're so beautiful, that's why you're so. Be and I was just like, "Look, you know," and I and I just told him that he was not bothering me, but now I'm in the middle of a sentence trying to take care of my business with this man, and he's just like. Oh, because you're so beautiful, that's why you're so... And I was like, look, you know, I need to talk to him right now. You know, I'm trying to talk to him. I have something I have to speak to him about him. You know, and so I asked the guy to speak to the supervisor, and he was just like, oh, you know, I asked him what I wanted to... And he's like, oh, I'm not... You know, they're not going to give you his name, you know. And, um... <laughs> and so I asked the supervisor, and he's like, it'll be better just to call customer service. So basically, the guy's telling, telling me that basically I'll probably get more headache trying to report it than actually anything else so I'm like okay I'll just send them an email you know so I leave as I'm leaving you know I see the bus that I think I need I walk over to the bus that same guy is like yelling you're so beautiful yeah and I'm like running 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 you know trying to get on the bus and the bus driver I guess he knew me because like I said he I think he knew me he knew me through the homeless things too like me carrying my little <laughs> push car cart and he was like you to catch that bus and, um, you know, and I think he respected the fact that, you know, I did it silently and I did what I had to do, you know. And um, so he saw that I was trying to run, like, away. I didn't feel I couldn't take no more from that man. So he actually closed his window on him. Perfect. So that's the second story.